I believe in the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. I believe in the God of Israel. I believe in one God. I believe that Christ was manifest in the flesh is one God, like the old Israel painted lamb's blood on their doorposts. I believe that Christ is my true lamb and his blood has been painted upon me. I believe that the same God of Israel protect me from all evil and sickness of this world. And I will do my best to keep the laws, the statutes, and the commandments. I believe that my Messiah died for my sins. I believe that he raised from the dead. And I believe that he will come again to judge the whole house of Israel. I believe that my God created the heavens and the earth and everything upon it. I believe in one God who is holy and righteous. I believe that the God of Israel is my Father. There is only one God. There is only one God of Israel. And I will give my whole soul and body and spirit to the one God of Israel. For he is righteous and he is my Father. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Selah and Selah. Amen. I know the Saturday and we're here with you again today. Remember, Saturday automatically is not a Sabbath, but we teach on Saturday from our synagogue here at 202. What I would like to talk to you about today is very complex. I don't know what's going on in the world today, or I should say, I have an idea what's going on in the world today because everywhere my social media has to do with religion. First, I will get a little joke, a little humor here, <laughs> and whatever, I see my friends here, who we talk, but now all of that is gone. All I see is Jesus everywhere, <laughs> everybody, and they shout and scream, and I don't know what's going on. Jesus uh, suddenly take the highlight. Poor little Israelite man. <laughs> he's dead and gone, but he's very famous right now. The other subject matter that I was dealing with with one of my priests is racism. Nobody understands racism. And give you an idea what I'm talking about. First, listen to this. A dog is black, he's white, he's gray, he's pink, but they're all dogs. They don't make no mention. Everybody knows about dogs these days. Mm -hmm. They know about this shepherd and that one. I don't know the names of dogs, but they know it. The cats are the same thing. They don't care what kind of cat it is, but we care because of color. One of my... Uh, idea was to remove the stigma of racism, that we should change the name of the White House. Because the most powerful nation in the world, the president lives in a White House. So it means that white controls the entire world. I think we should change that name from White House, not the Blue House or Green House, uh, but you know, like leaders' residence. Or powerhouse. The, 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 she called it the powerhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is. But I said we should change that name in, in a hurry. Mm. And so wipe out at least 150th of racism we have in this world. Today we can talk to you about all the lies that kills the spirit. Mm -hmm. All the lies that we have yeah. to go mm -hmm. through and yeah. all the passion that it says with all these lies. Yeah. If you listen to the lies today, mm -hmm. by goodness, you would believe it's truthful. Well, this, and that's the topic of today. The Good. lies are believable. Yes. And sure. you know, it's, it's a thing when you're, you're on, it was one thing to read books, but when you watch a video or you're looking at YouTube, man, the lie is so much more magnified. Oh, Whether yes. it's about your health or this and that, you oh. know, take this or do this for exercise or take this drug to, f to feel better, you will believe it. You I'm know, you would you. believe it. The, the, How much more the, so for your spirituality? The, these so-called prophets mm -hmm. and teachers, they shout and scream and, and all the passion you get. Yeah. Uh, you would have it makes it crying. difficult. It makes oh, it difficult. They show the, the healing and the miracles. Yeah. It would be difficult for you to walk away and be like, oh, I don't believe that. 
or he's not a man of God, so to speak. Are we going to sit down at this little table mm -hmm. and all we would do is to tell you the truth. Yeah. And notice we're not shouting. Yeah. We're well, sometimes we shout. The truth. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we get passionate. <laughs> uh, but it's but exciting to be the here. The truth is a yes, very powerful it thing. Is. And maybe you have to shout the lie so you cover down the truth. Mm -hmm. So that's all you can say. Yeah, I want to play a little video for you. And when you look at this, mm -hmm. I would explain, I would try to explain how the lie is magnified. <laughs> oh, so, boy. Uh, go ahead, let's play the video. Mm -hmm. This is someone in Africa calling himself Jesus. Mm -hmm. And not if he call himself Jesus, it'll be okay, because we have a lot of Jesus in the Philippines and everywhere. But when you call yourself Jesus Christ, that's something else. That's a whole other matter. Yep, that's a yep. whole thing. So yep. let it roll. Let's see what it is. Maestro, yeah. play, please. Yep. It's not for granted to witness the second coming of Jesus Christ. <laughs> and the whole world. We might be having have some technical difficulties. Yeah, yeah. Really? But Maestro, are we good? Chop, 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 chop. While we're having that uh, difficulty in showing this, this, this video. Oh, the video is playing. I understand the video is playing now. Okay, oh, good. Let's play. Yeah. Okay. Listen carefully while we're looking at the things that are being said. Everybody's encouraging her and they're screaming and shouting. Slain in the spirit is when a person acts possessed or falls down experiencing religious ecstasy. But where's the proof they're not faking it? Wow. I, want, I want for you to pause the video there a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, just pause it. <laughs> Number one, this is a person that's saying that he's Jesus. But where is he from? He is from Africa, and this is a Hamite from Africa saying that he's Jesus. But if we read Romans 9, mm -hmm. 1 to 5, yeah. it tells you that you have to be an Israelite, not a Hamite. Mm -hmm. You have to be from the child of where? Jacob. Mm -hmm. You have to understand about Genesis 35, how the name does change. If you read Romans 9, it's our creed, so I yep. can tell you. you read it for me, please. Yes, Romans 9. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ, from my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. It means everyone that looks like him. But mm -hmm. there we have a situation now where people are saying that this guy looks like him because he needs a but Look where he's from. Don't forget, it's the people with the woolly hair that helped to enslave us too. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. got to understand that. When we were in Egypt, Egypt was Africa. I and mean, you know Egypt is the Middle East, but Egypt was Africa in those days. Well, you, and right through it is the Africans mm -hmm. that sold the Israelites. It's all the northern, western Africa that sold us to the Gentiles. Yeah. So now come here a Jesus coming out from enemy country. Mm -hmm. Continue. Wait, before I continue, I just feel like there's so many layers to the lie. Like today, Jesus is painted at, as not even black, as a white man, right? As a Gentile. There's that layer. Then when you get to uncover the fact, oh wait, that's not the color that he actually was. He is from another place. He's not from the Isles of the Gentiles. 
and you look, and then you got to decipher now, like you were mentioning about dogs and different colors. Okay, here's this region, the continent of Africa, the, you know, it used to be called Abyssinia or Ethiopia, and, and even the country of Egypt. Everyone was dark. Everyone had the same shade, but not everyone worshiped the same way. Not everyone was from the same family. It, there was layers to this. Another layer of the lie is that he's associating, this man in this video is associating himself, he's a Hamite. This is all Ethiopian side. He's not even from Shem. So now you have to differentiate, okay, yeah, they might be the same skin tone, but they are not from the same family. No. And then you have, as you go on to look at the video, you would see all the women are called prophets. <laughs> not only prophets, <laughs> their names are all male. Oh, yes. They're Benjamin, they're <laughs> Noah. Noah. They're all these things There's that are happening. It's a whole bunch of crooked lies as you get. Asia. But I can tell you one thing if you go to Haiti, if you go to Guyana, you go to anywhere in the Caribbean, you would see the same things, but nobody calls themselves Jesus Christ there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the same type of familiar spirits working in the body. Would you continue the video, please? of the prayer she, so the Holy Spirit came into her and like an angel took her away from to the outer world so now what you saw she was in an outer world how does it feel to be Jesus Christ he's very happy because it's the job of the Lord He was at school when he was 10 years old, and he felt he needed to draw a picture of the cross. So when he was drawing the cross, he felt like he left the world. And the voice of the Lord told him, you are my son. When he was 12 years old, he was visited by thousands and thousands of angels at 3 in the morning. And Over when they came here, they said, I am this man. son of God. And one of them said, I am angel Gabriel. When he left, another one came and said, he's angel Raphael. When angel Miriam got there, she told him not to fear because he's doing the Lord's work. You can predict the future. Yeah, because he has the power from God, because the son does what the father does. Because God looked and saw that people were breaking the covenant with him, and he decided to bring him back. The more Jesus points to wars, conflicts, and the climate catastrophe, the more I'm Can starting to believe Can we pause the video for that. a second? It's not so I want to speak on, you know, she said this man, when he was young, at the age of 10 or 12, was heard the voice and started drawing a picture of the cross. And... <laughs> For what a cross got to do with us? Yeah, and that, and that, I was, honestly, I was really disappointed. I mean, I know the whole world worships this cross, but whenever you read this scriptures, this Bible from Genesis to Revelations, there is never any mention when it comes to the, the God of Israel's altar or his, you know, the tabernacle, the Ark of the Covenant, there is no mention of a design or a symbol of a cross. You never see that anywhere. You don't come first, across first, that in the scripture. There is a statement that Jesus made when he was alive. You pick up your cross and follow me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you ask people why they're using the cross, they would say, my savior die on this cross. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, if somebody would shoot my son, I wouldn't wear a gun. Mm -hmm. If somebody would hang my daughter, I wouldn't wear a rope around the noose around my, my neck. I wouldn't do that. So you got to understand what's going on in this world. Yeah. It's a crazy, crazy world to, to draw a cross, to draw the symbol of death. So you're saying this That's person... That's terrible. Yeah, this person spoke to you. You heard a voice and they told you to draw a symbol of a cross. Why not one of the symbols that we know of? Why not a lion? Why not a bullock? Why not the eagle in the air? Why not the, the different jewels? Like the different, like nothing, nothing is of what's biblical or what's holy unto the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But the symbol of the cross is the first thing that he draws because and wants to say Jesus is what he was told to do. It. And if he was told to do that, and you reading the scriptures knowing that it was never used as a holy instrument, you would have to say, wait a minute, this voice can't be holy if it's telling me to draw the cross. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just lies and confusion. All I'm saying, if you go anywhere in the Caribbean, and probably in, in another place in Africa, 
you would see the same thing happening. We mm -hmm. talk about it, about worshiping the dead. It's all over. If you ask a person that come from Haiti, they would say their religion is Catholic, mm -hmm. but their custom and their culture is voodoo. I got it on tape. Yeah. Our culture is voodoo, and our religion is Catholic. You go to Ghana, you'll mm -hmm. see the same thing. Mm -hmm. And they say they have voodoo festival mm, yeah. every year. Yeah, so yeah. what do you think you see in there? Yeah. It's chair voodoo. Yeah. And they bring out the drums and the same thing. Yeah. It made no difference. The shaking I don't and the think dancing. Jesus had that. No, you've never read that anywhere. There's no shaking, dancing, and drumming. I don't think Jesus you had that. that. But it's a it's a black thing. Yeah. It's a it's it's something that they need a familiar spirit in their body. They, they need to do wicked things while they're reading the, the yeah. Holy Scriptures. Yeah. While they're reading an Israelite book. If he's Jesus, he don't need a book. Mm -hmm. Why is he reading the Bible? He <laughs> don't need one. He's Jesus. He's, everything is in here. <laughs> oh, that's great. So I love it's that. It's important for us to understand and have yeah. wisdom so mm -hmm. we can see. I'm going to tell you something. What it says in Leviticus, the 19th. Uh, chapter. It says in the 30th verse, ye shall keep my Sabbath mm -hmm. and reference my sanctuary. I am the Lord. The 31st verse says, regard not them, I'm going again, regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God, your God. Talking to Israelites, not the Hamites. Not the strangers, not the hiddens. Mm -hmm. If you, if you, you got to read the story of King Asa, A-S-A, and see, he had trouble and fighting because the army of Ethiopia mm -hmm. was so strong coming up. And the Lord God of Israel said, you know what? We're going to fight against them and win. So be very careful. Yeah. Millions of people, this is not going to happen mm -hmm. in the last days. That lie is going to be so powerful. Yeah. Everybody is going after him. Yeah. Thou shalt rise up before on your head and honor the face of the old man and fear thy God. I am the Lord. Oh, this is what the Bible says. Powerful. Do not follow the lie and the search. It is so ridiculous. Over a million people following that lie. Um, I'm sure for many more. I mean, again, I go back to what you see in this video, you don't see anywhere in the scriptures. You don't see anyone shaking up or drumming or carrying on. And like you said, familiar spirits. Number one is in Africa, so. You know. <laughs> Africa <laughs> sold my father. This fascination. And again, it goes back to the world, like the lie and the world loving the lie and this fascination with the dead always fascinated with the dead and and drumming up familiar spirits and worshiping having dead holidays and and you know halloween and all of that kind of stuff always this fascination with the dead and dealing with the other side which we should not do because as you read it defiles them anyone that seeks after that or does anything like that is defiling yourself especially yes, it as is. a jacobite how many more of bridges left to see they don't make a comment if you can I just show yes, it press play, please. and finish to the end of it. Yeah, we'll go right through. No secret. Say is a, is a God sent. On the internet, people say they want to crucify you. When you read the book of uh, Hebrews, mm -hmm. that is not good. To there it is, when you read the book me. of Hebrews. Like you don't want to be crucified. Uh, if he had the spirit, he wouldn't need to read good. the book. It <laughs> happens when I was there in the Middle East. So you don't want to happen again? Uh, but the police take you in the police station. Message to everyone in the world, what would you tell them? I would like to tell them that I'm now back. His head is I never thought I would meet Jesus. This is a fantastic day. Do all the prophets live right here in this village? No. They usually come from home. Who lives here, all these houses? Jesus lives here alone. Really? With his family. With his family. <laughs> uh, with his family. We've entered Jesus' living room. Pretty cool in here. This is your house. Yeah. Uh, this is Angel Benjamin. This is Angel ben ben Benjamin, the wife to Jesus. Amen. Jesus with a wife and kids? Well, that's new and it doesn't... He believes that 2,000 years ago, he was Jewish, he was there, but he has come back now as an African. And the goal is 
to take people to heaven. That All people? All people <laughs> worldwide. To Not me. A community, but as they're singing and chanting, it feels very real. The emotions, the spirituality. <laughs> Why do I come famous? Yeah. Amina! Pretty chaotic. There's a lot of people around it. Amina! 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 Jesus asked for a goat. So I'm gonna get him a goat. This one right here in the white. Oh, I can't, 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 can't take it off. I can't stand it. I don't want to see that anymore. But I'm gonna just say something here. Number one. Jesus is not the Son of God. Let me say it again. Jesus is not the Son of God. And if you read the book of Luke, the second chapter, it tells you that. You read from the 16th to the 29th verse. See what it says. Luke 2. Oh, Luke 2. Okay. From 16 to 29. Okay, you, got you got it? it? Go yeah. ahead. All right, Luke 2 from verse 16. He's not the son of God. Mm -hmm. And they came well, with... First, before you read, yeah. he was born of a woman. Yeah. I tell you this all the time. <laughs> yeah. He was born of a woman. Mm -hmm. He came from a womb. He's not an angel. Mm -hmm. He came from a womb, came through a vagina, and was circumcised on the eighth day. Yeah. I keep saying that. You don't circumcise God. You don't circumcise the Son of God. The Son of God is a spirit. And I'm going to get to you with that. Sounds pretty human to Go me. Go ahead. If he was born, sounds so. pretty human if he was born of a woman. <laughs> All right, verse 16. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe mm -hmm. laying in a manger, in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. Concerning a child, he didn't grow up yet. Mm -hmm. He's just a child. He's a baby. a baby. Yeah. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. And when eight days were accomplished, Yep. For the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus. Remember this. His name was called Jesus. He did not get a surname. <laughs> his name was called Jesus. And we're going to talk about that surname. His name was called Jesus. Not Jesus Christ yet. His name was called Jesus. At the circumcision. Like we do with every Israelite child that was born. Mm -hmm. On the eighth day, the boys are circumcised on their name. Every, all boys. Simple That's like right. that. Yep. We people are going with this nonsense that Jesus is son of God and some saying Jesus is God. He's born of a woman. Continue, read. Yes. Which was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. They know because let me tell you something that is being mixed up with Christians. Because of how the scriptures have been read, you believe that Jesus is everything, but Jesus was prepared. He was a person that was prepared for to entertaining a very high office. Yeah. The spirit that would walk with him is the powerhouse. <laughs> Not him. When he died, you know what would happen? He was supposed to be a comforter. But after he is gone, the comforter would come, which is a spirit. We're all dealing with spiritual things here. It is so hard and difficult for these nuns called to understand it. Jesus was born. You could have a child that could be born with that same type of power within him, because that child might have to carry the Spirit of God. Amen. The Spirit of God is totally different from the man. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. And the Spirit of God, and I'm going to prove to you today, oh, these pastors are liars. Amen. I mean, I, I can't, I can't, I have to, we've done this so many times, and I cannot stress enough the point, and I like what you said about preparation. There was so many, so much preparation for the baby and the, G, and the child to be named Jesus. So much so that it went back to like, what tribe is he from? What family is he from? You know, even Mary was chosen. Like before we even get to Jesus being born, Mary, a maiden, was chosen. You know, like we said before. I want to remind you that mm. on Tuesday, <laughs> we celebrated, oh. Oh man. We celebrated oh, a virgin. Amen. She is a virgin and we celebrated her, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. And this time, even today, we'll be having a very big party for her. Yeah. To be, a uh, big feast. Because this is what we do. Mm -hmm. This is the Bible. Yeah. This is not what somebody says and who says. This is not theology. Yeah. <laughs> we don't worry with theology. We worry with the realology, which is the Godology. That's what, the truthology. That's what Ooh, we do here. Bars. We do the truthology, not yeah. the theology. The lieology, <laughs> <laughs> not the lieology. We don't do that. No, but going back to just preparation again, Mary, like she's not tatted up. She was raised the Israelite way, the Israelite culture. She ate the right foods, the dietary laws. She kept the new moons of the Sabbath. A very special young maiden was chosen to birth the child of Jesus, who then... And you always like to talk about I her. love to, because I have to. We can't negate that. I, I think I'm stressing the point of the body being the temple and the fact that she is an Israelite girl, Israelite young woman, you know, that this happened to. And then she gave birth to an Israelite child named Jesus. And then he was raised, and I love the chap, Luke chapter 2 because it just shows all of our culture and how we are as Israelites, the way we lived and are living today, the realology, the truthology, the Godology. You know, I love that, bars. You know, that even Jesus was born and in our Israelite culture was still circumcised on the eighth day was still he got his name and everything. And we'll, I'll continue reading, because then even Mary. The meaning, the meaning and the definition of culture is a way, way of, of life. life. That's right. And that's what mm -hmm. we do here. Mm -hmm. This is not living like the, the scriptures say this, and then we go out and do whatever we want to do and, and come back and sit down every Sunday. And no, 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 no. This is a culture yep. that we're trying to bring all back Resurrect to the God, our culture. To people of God, yep. this to is the Israelite, the Jacobites who didn't cross over yet to be Israelite, all of you who were children of slavery and who would follow you to know the truth. So it's not only the children of slavery, but who would come to know the truth Amen. from you. No one else can teach them. Yep. No one else can teach them. Only an Israelite can teach a stranger, no yeah. one else. So you can't say you're a Christian, but you're going to follow the Bible. You're a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. can't follow the Bible. It's an Israelite book and say you're a Christian. You got to get out of that great whore. Amen. And you have to know and understand the, the lie is so deep. So you can't say, I believe in this and believe. And, and lots of you keep talking about new covenant. There ain't no new covenant that including the Christians. None. The new covenant is for Israel again. It's written inside of your heart. It's written inside Hebrew 8.8. 8. It's tell you that. So try to understand. You can't be a Christian new covenant. There ain't no new covenant for you. No, no. And it's sad. None. Millions of people will follow this person in Africa. Millions of Jacobites will believe More in the of lie. Millions. Just in the dark, the multitude of the darkness. And then when you open the Bible and you see our culture, our way of life, like my God, Jesus was circumcised on the eighth day. And here we are, and this, these are like dark days that was, there was no light, we didn't know anything. We didn't know the name of our God. We didn't know the truth. We didn't know the way We're gonna of talk the about Israelite that. life. We're gonna talk and about that And here it is, us trying to resurrect this culture and bring it back to the light. And seeing that even and Jesus that's where, was circumcised That's why the, on the battle is so strong yeah. because 
you know, we're trying to bring this culture back. And to bring it back, we got to fight like mm -hmm. hell. Yeah. Because every page you turn on the TV and everywhere has to do with who is the chosen. Who is the chosen? Yeah. And you see people that don't look nothing like what the Bible says. Yeah. But they're chosen. Yeah. Who chose them? Mm -hmm. You got to worry about the synagogue of Satan. Mm -hmm. Who chose them? But we are here. It's a hard battle. It's a fight. And I'm telling you, if you want to be on the side of the Lord God of Israel, if you want to be on the side of the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, you got to be with us. Mm -hmm. The lie is magnified. Yeah, yeah. So be very careful. Yeah. I can tell you that. Yeah, who chose go, go them? Ahead. Who chose them and how were they living? You know, yeah. how were they living? And stressing the point, Jesus was circumcised on the eighth day and here Israelite Nation Worldwide Ministries this is our way of life we are resurrecting the culture like Elder Shadrach said our boys are circumcised on the eighth day just like the and days our girls of old are celebrating mm -hmm. their virginity and the girls it's are great. celebrating their virtue their virginity you yep. know and we are resurrecting this culture like the days of old it has not changed we are bringing this back we are resurrecting our Israelite culture I'll continue Verse okay, 22. Go ahead. And when the days of her purif purification, according to the laws of Moses, were accomplished. <laughs> That's what we're going by, the laws of Moses. And Moses didn't make the law. God gave Moses the law to bring to us. They brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Like, so much in that verse, so much culture. Her days of purification because of the law of Moses. She had to stay away because of her uncleanliness. We don't mix holy and unholy. You know, we, she understood that, they understood that as a culture, and we understand that today. And after her purification, then they brought Jesus to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male child, look, we're talking about this. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. Oh, man. That's goosebumps. Yep, it is. Oh, wow. And to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen, here's the kicker now, he had seen the, the Lord's, Lord's Christ. Christ. The Lord's Christ, meaning the person who has to carry that weight is not the person we're talking carry about. That spirit. It's yep. going to be that God, but what? He's going to be carrying with him. He saw the Lord Christ. He saw this flesh. Mm -hmm. What this flesh it was born to do. And when that's finished, I'm going to tell you exactly. We're going to read two more verses. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to discuss it. And he came by. So I'll reread it. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child, Jesus, to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he him up in his arms and blessed God. <laughs> he blessed God, not the baby, <laughs> not Jesus, and said... Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people, Israel. I'm going to let you stop there for yeah, the thing, a thing because <laughs> everything is Israel. The Bible don't have anybody else. The Bible don't have any Hamite, no, no one coming from some African country and claiming. No, no, this is not what the Bible is saying. 
and the Bible speaks. And we, we're, we're talking about all these things. You know but what? But I, I tell you something, what the Bible is talking about. Mm -hmm. If you go to the book of Jeremiah in the 23rd chapter, just read a little book bit of, of it. I, I have it here. Mm -hmm. So you can read it here. Oh, you have it. Perfect. Yeah. You know what's interesting? We just read, it's a, 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 a light unto the Gentiles and a glory mm -hmm. of thy people Israel. In the clip of that video that we watched, did that person mention Israel at all? No. He said, all people are going to heaven. Not. <laughs> but <laughs> Not I, I, I'm going to tell you before you read mm -hmm. that. He says, all people are going to heaven. And the question was asked of him, all people? And he said, yes, he come to take all people to heaven. I'm going to read what it says in your favorite book, John, the third chapter, because all you know in John, the third chapter, is the 16th verse. But there also is a 13th verse. And the 13th verse says, if I have told you, the 12th verse says first, if I have told you earthly things and you believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of things. heavenly things. Yeah. Now listen to what the 13th verse says now. And no man, and no man, woman too, and no man <laughs> hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. Jesus did not come from heaven. He Point came from a womb. Period. Close the book. He did not mm -hmm. go to heaven. And he did not resurrect on the third day, as people say. It's a long story, but read the Bible. And mm -hmm. those of you, oh, sorry. You do not have the comforter with you. You do not have the, the spirit, spirit of, of truth. truth. You do not have the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. All you have is familiar spirit. Mm -hmm. You don't have the truth with you. So it's a waste of time to tell you what to do for you to understand the truth. Therefore, then how can you understand? That's why it's easy for you to believe someone that says his goal is to bring everyone up to heaven. Your goal, that how is he going to do that? Says he's going to bring he, everyone back He did to not heaven. even come from anywhere. Or you come from a woman's womb in some village somewhere. Mm -hmm. And he's telling you about going to heaven and over a million people following oh, him. Wow. And we just read that if you don't, if you cannot, if you don't come from heaven, you cannot ascend back up to heaven. Oh, Lord. But his goal is to take everybody to heaven. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go to Jeremiah. Well, he said Jeremiah 23 mm -hmm. about it, but false prophets. Mm -hmm. You can just read a, first, a couple of verses. Okay. From the first verse? Yeah. Oh. Woe unto the pastors <laughs> <laughs> that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. You have scattered my flock and driven and them so away. there's so many of them. Yeah. All they need is a 10 cents to put in the bank. They saw some of them with nice cars and planes. I want that too. Yeah. What do you do to get it? Yeah. I just lie to the people. It just feels and I got a whole warehouse full of people. Yeah. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. And if you can't do it, you get a little house somewhere and you get a computer, and you become a pastor. I'm telling you, this is crazy. You get a certificate from the theology school and become a pastor? <laughs> no, you don't need that. You just need a computer. <laughs> wow. I tell you, they have no spirit, no knowledge, no nothing. Oh, but the pastor, oh, this is what the Bible says, and mm. this is going to happen. It's happening yeah. like crazy. My gosh, it says, my goodness. I'm going to read it again because this is what's going on. This is rampant in the world right now. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. You have scattered my flock. And I tell you something. Mm -hmm. The Bible left Christians three places. Mm -hmm. The whole world is Christian. Yeah. The Bible talks about how bad and terrible the pastors are. Everybody's yeah, a, pastor. a pastor. Could you see that? Can you imagine? Could you see that oh craziness? Yeah. The pastors <laughs> that feed my people. You have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, say the, saith the Lord. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them, and will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. 
Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. So people read that to say it was the future. Mm -hmm. And that the people who are doing that, living there now, is reading that scripture. That has been passed. That is history. Yeah. It's not the future. It mm -hmm. is history. So mm -hmm. you know what you can do? We're going to stop there. There is another, before we get into it, there's another uh, piece of, oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, I took another one. There's, a, there's another clip uh, that you need to see for me to show you how the lie is still working its way around with so much confidence. They do not blink when they're lying. They just lie and lie. They have no proof of their lies, but they lie. Mm -hmm. And they're doing a good job of it. Look, mm -hmm. no Christian is in a book, but yet the whole world is full of Christians. That's a good lie. And no one questions the lie. No, no, nobody they questions that. questions the lie. But when you tell them an ounce of, an <laughs> That's ounce, right. just the an day ounce come, of truth. You say How, until, where, what, yep. when, why, who, who told you? Yep. What do you know? It's like, my goodness, when you were living the lie I'll, and I'll telling out, you never asked I'll tell you about the power of this book. It says, when my word has been taught all over the world, then shall the end come. Mm -hmm. I used to wonder, because I heard my father used to say, how is that going to happen? Am I just little church mm -hmm. is going to tell people all over the world? It's so expensive. Mm -hmm. And by that time, they used to travel in ships to go places. Yeah. No plane. Mm -hmm. Now look what's happening. Mm -hmm. I am here, and I'm getting email from Japan. How did that happen? Mm -hmm. See, it is so important for us yep. to understand that this scripture has got to be fulfilled somewhere. Mm -hmm. And it's not how you look at it, it's how it's happening. It's reality check. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to look at. Yeah. The reality check. We mm -hmm. have another, All listen to this other clip that we're going to play for you. This one, very confident. There's one man, I can't get rid of him, he's on my computer <laughs> all the time. They like to bombard and, you. Yep, and he always showed one time he had a man, very gentile man, standing up there. He didn't say this might be. He said, this is the son of Abraham. Hey, man. His name is Isaac. And I said, wait a minute. Look. What the hell? This man got all of this. And you know what? The white people, it's okay for them to understand or believe that. But you're going to have all the black dummies mm -hmm. all going to look at this man and not see your hair, don't have no wool, his skin mm -hmm. is not dark and black and born like foreigners, nothing. And yet they're going to believe in him. That's right. And they read the Bible. No apologies told. Gentile and they read the Bible. To no apologies told. Oh, my <laughs> God. Gentiles, you know, the white man. I'm going to stop teaching now because I don't know. This thing just sent me crazy. Mm -hmm. I can't understand. If you don't read the Bible and you do all of this, I can understand. Well, you don't read the Bible. But every Christian have a little red pocket book somewhere. It's picking the ticket out somewhere. It always have the New Testament and the Psalms. Why are you reading the Psalms? That's the book of David. You don't read Old Testament. You know, I think out of all the lies told, the one that I am... They're not only told, they're telling right now. Told, and sometimes not told like told visually. The lie that I'm most hurt about and so disgusted with is the lie of the images. Oh Lord. Because that stays with you. Being shown an image of what Jesus looks like and all the other biblical characters. Yeah, the Japanese, Moses, they had no camera yet, but yet you know we have I mean? that. Yeah, from a little, ch uh. and every race believes this. Like you talked about all races at the beginning. Like every, you are shown that picture from a, as a little child, and you grow up with that image in your head. So oh, much yeah. so now, like in your older age, like you have to fight like hell 
to remind yourself, no, that's not what he looks like. That's not what he looks like. Well, to look, me, that is that the that most guy. damaging lie ever done. He was told, he some some familiar spirit told him to draw a cross. Well, yeah, exactly, <laughs> as a child. <laughs> The most uh, damaging lie are the symbols I and the know. visuals that is painted before you because they don't have to tell you anything. As, especially as a child, you're impressionable. You believe without even questioning with what you see. But the and next you grow one, up with that. You grow year after year after year till you're older with that in your mind. And then you come to the truth in this light that you question, well, how can he be black? You, now you gotta be told. No, you tell you know people I mean? now. You tell people they don't wanna believe you. They might you wanna stone you. you. Right, they might want to stone me. Yes. You know, and then even when you know that it's true, you still fight like hell to remove that image from your mind. Okay, could we get Damaging. the could we get the auto? My gosh. Uh, the second clip. The second clip. Maestro, press play, please. <laughs> yep. John one. You got one, it. Three. Okay. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Listen. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. John 8:58. Very truly I tell you, Jesus answered, before Abraham was born I am. John 17:5. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. Colossians 1:15. Could we stop 17. there, please? <laughs> Now, we just say about the birth of Jesus. Mm -hmm. If you heard what he just said. Yeah. That John 1 said, you know what? I think I'm going to want to find some, oh, wait a minute. I think I have, before I go in, in that scripture, I'm going to find something to let yeah. you know how these people are dummies. They have no idea about what they're talking about. Uh, if we go to John 1 and we go to the 17th verse, this is what it says. For the law was given by Moses, case closed, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. No man had seen God at any time the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he had declared him. So nobody has seen God. Mm -hmm. Therefore, nobody can see Christ. People are forgetting that. Mm -hmm. Because without Christ, there was nothing made. Okay, mm -hmm. it says, and this is the period of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who art thou? And he confessed and denied not, but confess, I am not the Christ. So you see the separate entity of the same book of John. They're looking for the Christ, yeah. which is the spirit. I am not the Christ. Why would he say that? Yeah. He says, and they ask him, what then? And though he lies, and he said, I am not. I doubt that prophet. And he answered, no. Mm -hmm. Then said they unto him, who art thou that we may give an answer to them that sent us? You know that they're black. That's why God <laughs> tell his people, the, Moses, tell him what my name is. Because this is what is going on and, here at, again. At least there was some intelligence here. The <laughs> yes. understanding of, of level of spirituality. They see John. Yep. And they are, they see John and Understand. they're saying, are you the Christ? Are you the Christ? Or do you have the spirit of Elias? That's right. They un, there's a level of understanding there. In the video, in the clips that we watch, <laughs> there's no understanding. Like, did they ask who was with I you? I am telling you. It said in the 22nd verse, then said they unto him, who art thou? That we may give an answer to them that sent us. Yeah. It's just like mm -hmm. what? Moses got to ask God about his name. Mm -hmm. What sayest thou yeah. of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Isaiah. Mm -hmm. And they which were sent were of the Pharisees. <laughs> yeah, of course, always. Always the Pharisees. Always the Pharisees. And they asked him and said unto him, Why baptized thou then? 
If thou be not that Christ, if be not that Christ, nor reliest, neither that prophet. Now tell me something. What the hell is they going on? They had the on? knowledge of the Christ. They had the knowledge what? of Now tell that me, what spirit. the hell is going on? Why people can't understand what's going on here? Yeah. Why it's so difficult for people to, not to mm -hmm. understand? The Christ is a spiritual entity. Yeah. A spiritual entity. And you had to be prepared to carry that. Not of, it's not a familiar spirit. Yeah. It is a separate separate spiritual entity. And, and, and like you said, <sighs> a separate spiritual entity that was in the bosom of his father. Yes, not Jesus. <laughs> you know, before the world well, was, let's, before let's, anything was created, it was the Christ uh, let's go that to was in all the, the scriptures of his father. That he'd been reading. Mm -hmm. It says in the creation, John 1, 1, 3. What is, mm -hmm. do you got yeah, it? Yeah. See, read all it All right, let's me. do it. In the beginning was the word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning the with God. The Word was not Jesus. The, the word, word was, was spirit. spirit. Yes. The Word was spirit, in and it is written the spirit. Yep. that the Word was spirit. Mm -hmm. And if the Word was spirit, don't be so dumb to put Jesus there. Mm -hmm. I just told you where he was born and how he was born mm -hmm. and what happened to him when he was born. Yep. Why are you going to tell me that Jesus was there and you're supposed to be so damn educated? Yep. And we just how told you it? that the Christ is in the bosom of his father. Yes. He did not come from a womb, but I'm going to go forward in that and let mm -hmm. you guys know we're going to read so much. And I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. If you don't understand what I'm saying here today, you should burn your Bible. <laughs> you so shouldn't look at it again. Yeah. You should burn your Bible. And don't listen to these pastors. They're dummies. Yeah. All they need to do is to get in your pocketbook. I don't get paid. She don't get paid. Nobody here get paid. So you need to know that. Mm -hmm. And we have everything that the Bible says the children of Israel should have, even our own cemetery. We don't ask you to understand what we're doing. We're telling you that we are Israelites. Amen. Because we are positive that we are the children of Israel. We are positive that we are the children of God. We are positive that when we call on his holy name, there is an answer to that. So, you're going to stop this foolishness. There's no new covenant for you. The new covenant is what is written inside here Amen. as an Israelite. Amen. Yes. Amen. It says in, in John 1 and 1 to 3, as he said it was Jesus, it is not Jesus. No. And I'm going to give you something else. When you read John 8, and he says, these are the scriptures that he quotes, John 8, 58. Okay. What it says is talk about before Abraham was, I am. No. Jesus was long after Abraham. <laughs> and I tell you what happened to the baptism. You know, I want for you guys to gather yourself together when you listen to what's going on here today. Get yourself together. I don't have to tell you get a Bible because you know I can't lie. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to hustle to get anything. My job is to tell you the truth. Okay, can we go to actually, when we go to 58, to give context to what 58 is saying, Verse 58, let's start at 53. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, actually, I'll start at 52. Then said the Jews unto him, Now we know that thou has a devil. Abraham is dead. And maybe we need to go a little further, actually. <laughs> <laughs> go back and read it. And the prophets, and thou saying, If a man keep my saying, he shall never taste of death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? And the prophets are dead? Who makest thou thyself? Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my Father that honoreth me, of whom ye say that he is your God. Yet you have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and, it was, and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, 
thou art not yet 50 years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? And Before Abraham was I am. And Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. You know, you got to understand that. <laughs> and then just like black people, they you took know, up stones to cast at him. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but mm. you, you got to understand, he's going into the water. Mm. And John is baptizing. And John says that this person who was after me was before me. But then people used to draw a dove mm -hmm. coming yeah. down. It is not a dove. Yeah, yeah. It's but to go on the shoulder. spirit <laughs> came like a dove. But the ignorance is so strong mm -hmm. that they draw a dove yeah, yeah. coming down. And rested on no, his shoulders. No, the spirit came yeah. down like, like a, dove. a dove. Like a dove. Key, ter key term, like. And this <laughs> is what's going on here in this world today. Yeah. Um, and when it comes to John 17, I quote that all the time. Nobody knows that the whole situation there is the Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything there is about the Christ. The spirit came down like a dove. Ooh. And Rested the guy him. that is reading, I had mm. to put this in because he's shown a picture of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Are we going to finish that video? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's finish the video. Mm -hmm. it's, it doesn't have much it's left. Not too long, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. The sun is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. When Jesus... <laughs> All things are made by Jesus. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All things are made by mm -hmm. Jesus. So when you're born of a woman in that day, all those things, even the manger, he made it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he made it while he was in his mother's belly. Probably. He made it. I don't understand if people, seven. but you know what? Today I'm going to break it down so much. I know we have but an hour left. I believe. So we got to break it down and then I'll show you. Because number one, I look at the picture that he put for Jesus and that picture is wrong. Because in the book of Daniel, they tell you that his hair was like wool and the book of Revelation tells you his name is like wool. And when you read another place here uh, in Matthew 1, 16 to 21, talk about the birth again. So you have all of this that is happening here when it comes to Jesus. Yes, and I, I want to, because we read John 1.1, 1, 1, and he mentioned the first Colossians. Yep. So I want to go ahead and read that, just to give you yeah, know, go, what, go what ahead. we're saying. So yeah. Colossians chapter 1, verse 15, and he had said, Who is the image of the invisible God, <laughs> the firstborn of no, every wait, wait, creature? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. The <laughs> image of the invisible God. Mm -hmm. That means you've got to be invisible too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They are working together. Yes, For go ahead. by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head. He is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead that is in all things that he we might deal, have The last time we were here, Whew. I give you a definition of the church. It's not a building. He is, a, he is our teacher. Mm -hmm. He is because he says, if I did not go, and I have to say this one, I'm the sorry. comforter would not, not come. come. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. Oh, I mean, my goodness. <laughs> and having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto thyself. Your blood of the what? The blood of his cross, his burden. That's, by him oh. to reconcile all things uh, unto himself. By him, I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. I mean, you can, you know, you can read the whole thing, 
But the fact that we just, and you can read it and you'll even see it going and talking about the Christ. Christ in my flesh for his body sake. Oh my goodness. Now you know what I'm going to do now? Oh, wait, wait, I got to go. I got to, I fast forward to verse 24. Okay. Who now <laughs> rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the affliction of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church. For wherefore I made him minister unto according to this, this dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. I think everything is written here. But I'm again, it's just like telling you, said, you the church. We are oh. the church. We are the church, oh. not the building. Oh. Everybody that says they know this Bible get lost on Sundays. You can't find them. <laughs> Every Sunday they're gone. They oh. sit down there and listen to or the he lie. Is the head of the body. Okay. Now listen to mm. what I'm going to do. I want for you to go to a very old scripture. I mean, read that, and mm -hmm. then we can go to another scripture in the same book of Matthew. But I want for you to go to Hebrew first again. Remember this lesson that I did? Mm -hmm. Remember the lesson that I gave. Always remember it. When people are talking garbage that Jesus is God, and Jesus is the Son of God, he is neither. Mm -hmm. He was born to do something that is very powerful. I can say I was born to do something very powerful, but I'm not God. I'm not Christ. Mm -hmm. I'm not anything. But what I do, you wouldn't find it nowhere else in the world. But that doesn't make me different from anybody else. It's the spirit that is within man that makes man. Whatever it is. So try to understand. Jesus mm -hmm. is dead. He was made lower than the angels. The Christ controls the angels. He made everything. And I'm going to give you a lot for you to go by. And that lot. is what people need to want to start. You know what? We, we still didn't get any lesson that we no, had to we do exactly. today. We have a lot to go through. <laughs> You want to All come, we did yes. was talk about those two. Mm -hmm. And they're in my head that why these people, they don't even blink. Mm -hmm. They have so much confidence in themselves. Yeah. Why are they lying? Mm -hmm. And it's not them you have to think about. It's the people who believe in them. Yeah. There are millions of them exactly. believing in them. Yeah. That's the fear. Yeah. That is the fear. Hebrews 1, yeah. what it says. Here we go. God, who at sundry times... Make a note of this. ...and in diver manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he has oh, appointed oh, oh. heir... So take a note. You're listening. Heir. Write that down. Mm -hmm. His Son. His Son. The God of Israel. I remember I said it yesterday that you weren't here. Mm -hmm. uh, the engineers were not here either mm -hmm. uh, when I said it. When God is talking to us, he always telling us to call on his holy name. And his holy name is not Jesus. <laughs> you who are Israelites mm -hmm. know his name. Amen. Call upon it. Mm -hmm. Not Heavenly Father, not all these names you call, no, not even God of Israel. He is referred to as the God of Israel, like I'm referred to as elder. And I'm referred to, sometimes uh, they would call me master teacher, but that's not my name. The same thing goes for the God of Israel, mm -hmm. because that's what he's referred to, the God of Israel, but that's not his name. No. He said, call on my holy name. I would stop Amen. there. I'm not going to give it to you, but all, <laughs> all Israelites know what his name is. Now go ahead. We've said Read. Enough. Oh, you got to start Ooh. over because I yeah, want to get by his son. Start. I'll say. Mm. Has hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. Yep. Whom he has appointed heir of all things. He appointed heir of all things. Yes. By whom also he made the worlds. I'm telling you. People said that God created this. But it's not God and it's not Jesus. Mm -hmm. It is Look, his son. Go mm -hmm. ahead, read. Who being the brightness of his glory mm -hmm. and the express image of his person. Wow. <sighs> and upholding all things by the word of his power. 
when he had made by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Oh my gosh. Don't you get goosebumps? Of course. Can you How feel can it? you not? Jeez. Like, my God. He sat like down shaking in your boots, on the man. right hand oh, of, the of his majesty. majesty on high. Could you imagine Ooh. that? No. Not Jesus. My goodness. Because we're going to talk about him just now. Yes, this go ahead. Is the Christ himself being made so much better than the angels. So much better than the angels. Remember, oh. he's God's son. And he's yeah. made better than the angel. Take these notes. If your pen don't, don't have ink, throw the pen away. I'm going to buy a new one <laughs> and write it down. They used to say, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Yeah. <laughs> You're not in your cigarette. <laughs> right. Put it in your pipe and smoke <laughs> it. Because I'm telling you, Ooh, wow. so many dumb people in this world, oh, I'm telling you, man. Gosh. Oh, you got so many lying pastors. I don't know why the church don't fire yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So many lion yes. pastors. Who scatter the flock and you, make them blind. Especially in Africa. Yep. They got mm -hmm. a pastor to tell his people mm -hmm. to go and eat grass. And they're falling in the, in the street and eating grass. They got pastors naming the women <laughs> past, uh, Prophet Noah and this and that. Like, my gosh. Oh, oh more ones terrible. the pastors. Uh, we haven't mm -hmm. even started our lesson yet. No, We're just we dealing really with haven't. the two videos. <laughs> we really okay, haven't. Go ahead. <laughs> Being made so much better than the angels. I don't think we to go forward, but read a little bit more. Yeah, okay. As he has by the inheritance ordained, obtained a more excellent name than they. The Christ no, no, has no, no, obtained no. a has more excellent more name by than the angels. angels. Than the other angels. A more excellent name than them. Really? For, Are you making a note of that? the hand of God and has received an excellent name more than the other angels. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son. What other angel can say that? Oh, boy. This day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to I, me I think a we, I think we son. should be able to get up and go home. Let's just close the Bible and go. Let's yeah. just, are you ready? Turn off the lights. Let's go. I, think, <laughs> I don't know. If you don't understand this, then you're more than dumb. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus would call you a hypocrite. <laughs> You got me there. Oh if you don't okay, understand this, you're more than dumb. <laughs> yes, you're more than dumb. All right, go ahead. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, and let all the angels of God worship him. You know, I'll tell you something. Oh. Let, me, let, me, let me explain this to you. Mm -hmm. You see... When Christ was just the Word, when Christ was just the Spirit, in the same book of John, he says he came to his own, and his own received him not. So it is only wise to say, I'm Spirit. Yeah. So they're not going to be looking at me. Mm -hmm. So a man has to be born, my daddy, my daddy is going to put a man upon the face of the earth, and then he's going to put his son in that body. So that body never say anything anywhere. Anything you can see that body is doing mm -hmm. is the Christ within that body is doing. Mm -hmm. So when the body gone, what would replace him? Mm -hmm. The comforter. And that's what we that's where we come in. Yes, that's where I come truth. in. The yeah. truth. Yeah. The spirit of truth. That's where yeah. I come in. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. The power of truth. Amen. That's what we get. Mm -hmm. The spirit. Mm -hmm. The adaptation of that great spirit. Oh. Not adopt the spirit, mm -hmm. the but spirit the spirit of, of adoption. Yes. You don't have it because you're a liar. But I'm telling you. The spirit, the spirit of adoption. Yeah, and isn't it beautiful? The spirit of adoption that will let you see the scriptures plain as day with yep. no interpretation. If you don't have it, you're not understanding, chosen. All the wisdom, simple here in, in black and white, understanding. You know the what? Spirit of adoption. We read enough Knowing about, his name. about Hebrew oh 1. Oh, my God. Let's go to Hebrew 2. Okay. Let's and read up two. to the ninth verse. All right. So here we go. Here's the here contrast. We go. I know, I'm sure we've done this, 
but it's always good to get this because it's so good. I want for you to get a new pen if you have a tablet, not a pill, a tablet <laughs> to write, Sonia. Make sure the battery is working. Yeah. Because this is what I think you would want to hear. Mm -hmm. I have said it about 50 times yeah, here. Absolutely. And still, I still can't get uh, what's happening yeah. on social media. Mm -hmm. And it's all coming on my social media. Yeah. Like they're targeting me to tell me about Jesus. I know him. He's dead. I have an idea. Here's an idea. Why don't we take this video and all of you watching out there in Cyberland and share it on everybody else's social media? Let's I know that would not be a bad lie. idea. Let's trump the lie. Show that you're smart and you have some wisdom. You can even say you have a dream mm -hmm. because that's what Re you guys it do, on you your know? YouTube or your Everybody Facebook. Everybody would say, you know what? I just had a dream. You won't tell a Shadrach tell you. I know mm -hmm. that because you're all thieves <laughs> and you would go about and do all these things and say that God mm -hmm. talked to you. But God never talked to you. You just look at my video wow. and then you go out there and you lie around my video. Yeah, you'll have a dream. You lie around it. I tell you the truth, but you don't want to look stupid, so you lie around it. Yeah. So you look good. Jeez, at least let your lies be honorable. You, I don't you mind if you don't you call my cross, name. Across. But the truth needs to be told. <laughs> oh. Would you read Hebrew 2, please? Here is Hebrews chapter 2. And stop it in the ninth verse. Absolutely. And make sure your tablet's working. <laughs> Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard. Yes. Lest at any time we should let them slip. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord yep. and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him, God also bearing them witness both with signs and wonders and with diver miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. For unto the angels has he not put in subjection the world to come, wherefore we speak, whereof we speak, but one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou visitest him? Thou madest him a little lower than the angels. All men, listen, look, mm -hmm. before you go further, all men, meaning women too, are made lower than the angels. Mm -hmm. All men, all human beings, because angels is above, spiritually, above everything else. Even though you see all the angels white, that's not true. That's not true at all. Mm -hmm. Because you see some angels, you might want to run from them. Because <laughs> they're not white and beautiful with wings, because spirit don't fly. Yeah, yeah, spirit yeah. just appear. To, yeah. to you, because this is what a Gentile put in your head, mm -hmm. and Christians, those images and again. they got all these, these mm -hmm. white babies with wings yeah. flying again, and call them pictures. angels. Again. You know, where you ever get that? Mm -hmm. Angels appear. Yeah. They don't have to have wings. Yeah. Yeah. Because your ordinary familiar spirit don't have wings. No, angels gonna have wings? And your ordinary jumby, jumby, whatever <laughs> you call them, don't have no wings. <laughs> They just appear in your bed, in your kitchen, and water, yeah, yeah. and scare you to death. <laughs> but the angels gotta have wings. Yeah, yeah, that's no. what's planted in your head. They would come to protect you, mm -hmm. the spirit of adoption. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the one that would guide you against those demonic images that you got to run around with the pastors giving you. Oh, because gosh. that's what it is. Okay. For demons you have, yeah. because if you're a liar, you're going to have demons. And mm -hmm. if you're a liar, you're a child of the devil. Mm -hmm. Trust me, he mm -hmm. was a devil from the beginning, a murderer and everything. Yeah. So once you start lying, you're not of God. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Even Try that, to understand that. Even, even angels they corrupted. Even the word oh, angel yes. they corrupt. They painted the, the little boy with angels or them with angels in white. So that's planted in your mind and your image and your always, thoughts that I angels are white my, with wings. I always remember my friend like, Muhammad Ali when he was saying, well, "How come everybody's white?" And Muhammad Ali yeah. said, uh, "I go everywhere, even the toilet. I sit down and it's white. <laughs> but that's right. the only that's the only one I like because I'm sitting down in a white one there." 
But oh, he says geez. the angels are white. The White House, yeah. Tarzan, go to, yeah. to Africa. Yep, he's he, white. He, yeah. he just go oh, there and he can gosh. talk to the animals. Oh, and all the Africans live there, they can't talk to them. This is such a crazy world. Oh, gosh. But what you think changed all that is religion. Mm -hmm. Religion. They put the white Jesus there, yeah. the white God there. I go to a museum oh, at yeah. Trafalgar Square in England, and I'm there with all the brethren, and I go in. I see that big picture with the disciples, mm -hmm. all of them white, <laughs> Judas black. <laughs> oh boy. You see all the angels oh, coming down, white, Lucifer, oh, my black. Gosh. Oh. And it's in a big painting Awful. established there all the time. Awful. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm laughing, but it's a big deal. Because it is. imagery is everything. Showing it's a, pictures it's in a, is it's everything. It's a museum, it's a big mm -hmm. museum, library, whatever you call it, mm -hmm. right in Trafalgar Square. Oh, man. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So what verse are you? This is verse 7. I'll reread oh, it. Oh, yes. There you go. Thou madest him a little lower than the angels. That's man, generally. Yeah. Thou crownedest him with glory and honor and didst set him over the works of thy hands. Yeah, because that's what he did with Adam. Yeah. Yeah, yeah set exactly. Adam over yeah, everything. That's okay. Right. Thou hast put all things in subjection, subjection under his feet. Because you, could, you give him intelligence, mm -hmm. you could speak, you can communicate, he can do all these things. That's what he do with man. Mm -hmm. uh, you're coming down to the verse now. For in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him, but we see Jesus. You're going to have to read another verse after that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. What happened to Jesus? But he we died? See <laughs> but we see, he certainly did die. What but happened? we see Jesus, what happened who to him? was made what? a little lower than the angels. That means he's just an ordinary man. Because the Bible says, all men are made Lord and angels. Mm -hmm. And Jesus was made. Lord and angels. angels, but he had a job to do. Like I have a job to do, like you yeah, have a job yeah, to do, yeah. whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And that job was to do a very important matter. Yeah, yep. Carry the Christ, read another verse. For the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. There you There's go. his job. Now, <laughs> he had to die, mm -hmm. but Again, I'm telling you, because time is running out on us. He had to die. The flesh had to die. Mm -hmm. Because the spirit would feel the pain with whatever it is. So that flesh had to die. I said the last time, Christ, because Jesus did not automatically sacrifice himself, redeem himself. Redemption come with blood. So who did it? Mm -hmm. The Christ sacrificed Jesus. Mm -hmm. The Christ shed the blood for our sins. Not for the world, yep. but for Israel. Mm -hmm. The Christ did that because the Christ have people, his people, my mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. He said that all the time. Mm -hmm. My people. Other yeah. gods might have their own people. Mm -hmm. I don't know, mm -hmm. but my God is the Christ and the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Yep. And that's what he said. He sacrificed Jesus. Yeah. Jesus is not God. Mm -hmm. Jesus is not the Son of God. Mm -hmm. And we need to understand that. Now, I, I think we could stop there yeah. for a while. Yeah, we can. But we could go into a lesson. But before we go into a lesson, I want to read something before we get into it. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see if I can find the scripture written because I'm a blind man. I'm blind mm -hmm. as a bat. Oh, geez. <laughs> I think I have it somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think I have it. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not going in order, but this is how it is. Um, before we go into the lesson, I'm going to read Matthew, the 22nd chapter. Okay. Did you want to, okay. Eh? Did you want to do 21, Matthew 21 first, or are we going to go to 22nd? Oh, uh, I'm going to go right 
to the 22nd chapter. Okay. And then we could go to the rest. The 21? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay. The thirtieth verse, Matthew 22. Again, make sure your tablet is oh, working okay. and your pen has ink. Okay. We don't have those fancy pens when I was going to school. You got a duck and sensitive. <laughs> no, we don't have that Long anymore. Time so ago. it's supposed to be in writing skill. We don't use the feather anymore either. Mm. Sure. So this is what it's saying, and mm -hmm. I'm depending on your brain. Mm -hmm. It says Matthew 22, write it down. From the 30th verse, it says, for in the resurrection, because they were questioning Jesus. Oh, mm -hmm. boy, these people have to be black. Mm -hmm. About every Christ, yeah. single thing. And I'm reading the whole scriptures. I'm just going to read here. But he's answering them, but they wouldn't stop. Mm -mm. He asked them one question, and they couldn't answer that. Listen, it says, Matthew 22, the 30th verse says, For in the resurrection, they neither marry, nor are given in marriage, but are the angels of God in heaven. Now, you can't, in the resurrection, I think I, I'll be having a debate with you and the, or the <laughs> council about this, mm -hmm. because that's what the CEC mm -hmm. he want me to do. Mm -hmm. uh, it wouldn't be done today, but mm -hmm. another time. But I'll explain that to them. Mm -hmm. but <coughs> excuse me. But as such in the resurrection of the dead, mm -hmm. have you not read that which was spoken unto you by God, saying, I, could you read this with me? You got it? Oh, yeah. yeah. It says in the 32nd verse, I could hardly see what's I here. Know, could you read <laughs> it with me? <laughs> Absolutely. It says, I, I am, am the, the God, God of Abraham, Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Now, oh my goodness. I can imagine what this guy had to go through with the Sadducees, the Pharisees, yeah. Yeah. and everybody. It's not like today, because today, he would have just run and hide. I don't think he ever with all of this was going on. Because they had no <laughs> computer then. Yeah, there's uh. so much going on now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, what it is? I got 21 and I got 22. Mm -hmm. You get 32, here. yep. Okay. 23 mm -hmm. says, And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine. But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, Oh, when it says, put Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, again, see? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, your people. <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> ask him a question, mm -hmm. tempting him. They don't ask questions, do they? Mm -hmm. Saying, Master, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Mm -hmm. In the law. No, don't forget I'm a lawyer. Mm -hmm. mm. Remember we had a meeting here and I sent a boy to become a lawyer and the first thing he asked me in that meeting, you're not a lawyer, I'm the lawyer. And I said, ungratefulness, I tell you. Mm -hmm. I've seen so much of that. Mm. The 37th verse said, Jesus said unto him, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Oh, these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them. Mm -hmm. Now we get, we get in there. But it's so, it's so like when the Pharisees and the Sadducees and everyone goes to him, these are the people that know the law yeah. inside and out. They, supposed to. Supposed to. Yes. There's, they are aware that the Christ is coming, like we said earlier. And then they see Jesus, the Christ, performing all these miracles, doing all these things. And when they ask a question, like you said, they're not really asking a question. They just want to trip him up. They're just trying to got yep. you. They're trying yep, to like say. There cannot be the other people that chosen that say they're chosen. They mm -hmm. gotta be people like us. Yeah. 
Yo, those Every are the question people they are very, can ask, just so they can say you're not who you are and, and say yep. put you in jail or whatever, trying That's to trip right. them up. They are, they are not genuinely asking or sincerely asking. But I'm going to read something. They were they, asking the questions yep. all the time. They ask him all the questions, mm -hmm. but he asked them one question, said Jesus, in the 42nd verse. Mm -hmm. It's that saying, what think ye of Christ? Okay, could I get some water? <clears throat> Let's drink water. Yeah. <laughs> Not Jesus. <laughs> what think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? Whose son, Whose is, son he? is he? They say unto him, the son of David. See? Mm. It's going on today, the same thing. Mm -hmm. And he said, he said unto them, How then doth David in spirit, David, mm. In spirit, call him Lord, saying, The Lord said unto my Lord, Oh God, sit, sit thou on my right hand till I make thine enemy thy footstool. If David call him Lord, then how is he, how is he his, his son? son? <laughs> it's not Jesus we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. We know that Jesus is made <laughs> Lord and the <laughs> angels, angels, and the Christ says, Is the Son of God. And no man was able to answer him a word, neither does any man from that day forth ask him any more <laughs> questions. Oh, boy. My case is he closed. Stump them with that one. <laughs> My case is closed when it comes to all these things mm -hmm. that we have to go through. Now, mm -hmm. we could start our lesson. I don't know if we have all the time. Yeah, we have lots of time. Uh, we don't have lots of time. Yeah, you're like half, 30, yeah, maybe, what is it, 30 maybe 35 should, minutes? Maybe we should mm -hmm. go all day today. What, what do you guys think? Yeah, let us know in the chat. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> okay. The, the original name for this today's lesson was to be the warning the dead and a promise. And I had them set out. But after seeing those videos and listening to people, oh, mm -hmm. it was too much. We had to change a little bit yeah. so that you can understand the plight that the, this Israelite nation worldwide ministry is in. We're like fighting against the entire world. Absolutely. We're like alone in this world. I hear some Hebrew Israelites are dropping the Hebrew now and calling themselves Israelites now. Mm. A lot of things are happening, some bad, some good, but we are making it happen. That's why the social media is attacking me about Jesus because they know I know the truth. Mm -hmm. So they fantasize their lie. So that the ignorant, uh, the ignorant, would be left without a God. That's what would happen. My first warning is in Mark 7. Mm -hmm. It says, Then came together unto him the Pharisees and certain of the scribes, which came from Jerusalem. And when they saw some of his disciples eat bread with defile, that is to say, with unwatching hands, they found fault. <laughs> I'm getting to it. For the Pharisees and all the Jews, except they wash their hands often, eat not, holding the tradition of the elders. We have it here a little bit. Sometimes it, the law is kept, sometimes it is not. For the Pharisees and all the Jews, except they wash their hands, often eat not holding the tradition of the elders. Mm -hmm. And when they come from the market, except they wash, they eat not. And many other things there be which they have received to hold as the washing of cups and pots, brazen vessels and of tables. Then they're very clean people. Uh, mm -hmm. Some people are not so clean. Mm -hmm. 
Then the Pharisee and the scribe asked him, Why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashed hands? Mm -hmm. This was the question mm -hmm. somebody asked. Was it you? Mm -hmm. He answered and said unto them, Well, Artisias prophesied of you hypocrites. Oh, I thought that was the only bad guy here. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were the bad guy. Too. <laughs> Hey, hey, the but message has always got to get out, <laughs> regardless. No, but wh why is Jesus calling these night people hypocrites? Yeah, yeah. 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 okay. Mm. You hypocrites, as it is written, this people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. I got a lot of that. So oh, wait, let me just back up. So yeah. did you just say Jesus called them hypocrites? <laughs> I thought he was a nice, loving guy. Oh, no, no. No, he shouldn't they, just be nice and tell him, give him the truth nicely. They have him like this. Yeah, like, oh. All these pictures. Don't forget the sound it's, that goes with it. Oh. Look like if he have to uh, oh. define define what he is. Are you male or female? Oh. <laughs> but the here way he they have their Jesus. And he cannot say a mean word or utter oh, no. a mean word or a mean But statement. I remember. But here he is he, calling them here, hypocrites. Here he is walking inside his temple. And the selling double and all the things. He kept the table, he dashed it yeah. upside down. Yeah. He cut off a man's ears and coached yep. him. Oh, yep. Lord, he had to be black. He couldn't Attitude. be. Attitude. Oh, no. Attitude, man. Oh. The behavior. But they have him so nice. Mm -hmm. uh, if he, it's a walk with a fly in a matchet, why did you kill the fly? You know. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, there's not using these nice oh, yeah, words. Oh that, yeah, that's why these I'm telling vipers, you. They're worshiping. A a, they're worshiping another Jesus. I'm telling you. Oh, Anyhow, yeah, verse six. It's uh, verse six. Yeah, let's repeat it. He answered and said unto them, "Well, at his eyes prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, <laughs> this people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is mm. far from me. Oh, I know about that. How be it vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men? Mm. Is Jesus one to worship in? No." Not at all. No, that's the question we're <laughs> going to come to just now. For laying aside the commandment of God, you hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things you do. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God that ye may keep your own tradition. For Moses said, Honor thy father and thy mother, and who so cursed father or mother, let him die the death. Mm. But he said, if a man shall say to his father or mother, it is carbon. And that is to say, a gift by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me, he shall be free. You gotta notice who's talking in the first mm. place. And he suffered him no more to do aught for his father or his mother making the word of God of none effect through your tradition, which he had delivered, and many such like things do you. The ye means you. Mm -hmm. What do we have today? Tradition. Mm -hmm. I am telling you the truth. No, but you know, I go to church. I was born there. I go there every Sunday. I can't just leave. All my friends are there. That's exactly how it is. Mm -hmm. And when he had called all the people unto him, he said unto them, Act unto me, every one of you, and understand, there is nothing from without a man. Listen carefully. Now, this is important. Mm -hmm. ah, there is nothing from without a man that entereth unto him can defile him. But the things which come out of him, those are they that defile the man. And this is why I'm calling it the warning. If any man of ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was entered into the house from the people, his disciples asked him concerning the parable. And he said unto them, Are ye so without understanding also? Do you not perceive? that whatsoever thing 
from without entereth into the man, it cannot defile him. Think out on this. Because it entereth not into his heart, <laughs> but into the belly, and goeth out into the drought, purging all meats. And he said, in the 20th verse, that which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Evil thoughts. Yeah. Adulteries, Adulteries, fornications, murders, murders thefts, thefts, covetousness, covetousness wickedness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, eye blasphemy, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. It's come from the heart. Mm -hmm. It's coming out. And this is a very important part for when we read the scriptures for us to understand. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. And from thence he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon and entered into an house and would have no man know it, but he could not be hid. For a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit or familiar spirit, mm -hmm. heard of him and came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by nation. Mm -hmm. And she brought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said <laughs> unto her. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is the warning why are you now eating up everybody else's bread and you got your own bread to eat but I'm gonna, let's repeat verse 26 man we have to emphasize these things the woman was a Greek a Syrophoenician by nation and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter what Jesus said <laughs> here's what Jesus said but Jesus said unto her let the children first be filled, for it is not meat to take the children's bread and cast it unto the... No, what kind of a good gods. man is that? Where's the nicety? Where's the <laughs> nice... Oh, Jesus. Where's the niceness of this guy? Now, the trouble oh. I want to say, you want to know why I read so long, you know, that I can't even read, but I'm reading so long. Mm -hmm. Why am I reading so long? <laughs> We have our own bread. Ooh. Why are you Jacobites going out there mm -hmm. and eating the bread of the Gentile? That's right. Eating the bread of the demons. Mm -hmm. Eating the bread of the heathens. Gentile. All Greek. you need to do is to come home. Mm -hmm. Be an Israelite. Be a part of this great, oh my goodness. I can't say great religion because this is the religion, not mm -hmm. a religion. We have our own bread. This is the time you to take note because you would see tomorrow there's only 10 people listen to it. You know, so many people listen to it. I don't know what to do with the numbers, but I believe they have something to do with the numbers when we're seeing it. At one time we see seven, mm -hmm. but the next day it was 700. Mm -hmm. oh, what's going on? Who's tampering with what I'm saying? Yeah. So, here we go. Yeah, and just to go slow for those first-time viewers <laughs> out there for you guys, you see here the separation of family and different nations. You oh, see yeah, the woman was a Greek, not an Israelite. She was a dog. <laughs> a Greek. <laughs> she's a Greek woman, not an Israelite. And here, Jesus the Christ, and she's asking for help. Help me. Help my daughter. My daughter has a familiar spirit, adoptive spirit, unclean spirit. Cast out this spirit from, a, from her. And then Jesus the Christ looks at her and says, no, I'm here to take but, care of my people, the Israelites first. Let them eat yep, first. Yep. Let them be taken care of first. I gotta Let get me my children bread. First. Yeah. My children are hungry. Let me feed them first. Let them have the bread. And we don't take our bread anyway and give it to dogs. Oh, you need to know that. Are you saying that the Greek woman is a dog? That Jesus, the nice guy, just call the w Greek woman a dog and her daughter a dog? My Jesus would do that. Your Jesus wouldn't do that. <laughs> your Jesus. But your my Jesus, Jesus would do my, that. Your Jesus versus my Jesus. No, no, your Jesus <laughs> wouldn't do that. 
<laughs> Yo, Jesus got his hand clasped. And, and God just, like what, what is it to call it today? Uh, you got to identify your They, wife. them, he pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Yes. But mm. the, the, the 28th verse says, and she, and this is what Christians teach. They forget all the rest, but this is what they put all the comments are. And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. And you're going to go for other people to teach you. <laughs> because this is what it's saying. Mm -hmm. It is saying that your crumbs is good enough for the world. But you are taking the crumbs from the world yep. and you are digesting it. Your crumbs mm -hmm. is good enough for the world. Eat your bread in peace and let the crumbs go because the world needs that because what you have, the world don't have. Yeah. You know, Jesus came to say, he came for the world to save the world. What a man, he came for the whole world but he only took 12 people. Yeah. He only took 12. Mm -hmm. What kind of a man is that? He came for the world, but he only took 12. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what it says in the 29th verse. And he said unto her, For this saying go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. And when she has come to her house, she found the devil gone out, and her daughter laid upon the bed. You know what, though? It's interesting. All the time we're reading about the Pharisees, our people, your people and mine. <laughs> <laughs> Your people. <laughs> always trying to trip up Jesus the Christ. Always trying to find a way to crucify him. And here is this Greek woman who at least showed a measure of humility. Oh, yes. She at did. least a measure of humility to say, help me heal my daughter. And so her, her belief and her request, her request was granted. You know, but the Pharisees didn't do that. Our people don't do that. He came unto his own, they received it him not. It had to do with Rejected humility. Rejected all the time. That's why but everything. Showed, a Greek woman yep. showed a measure Ev of humility. Ev a Greek woman, not an Israelite. No, everything he, has Greek to come woman. from Israel. Oh my God! Everything has to come from Israel. Oh. You can't teach and learn by yourself. Oh, you can man. say how much you know the Bible, but you're not an Israelite. Mm -hmm. Forget it. Yep. This Greek woman showed a measure of humility yep. to an Israelite man and got her blessing. Wow. I'm still in warning, mm. and then we're gonna have a discussion uh, with you. It says in the book of Micah, in the sixth chapter, uh, the first verse, hear ye now what the Lord said, arise, contend thou before mountains, and let the hills hear thy voice. Hear ye, O mountains, the Lord's controversy, and ye strong foundations of the earth, for the Lord had a controversy with his people, and he will plead with Israel, oh, my people, now again. Mm. Why, why would this God that created the entire world have a specific people? Yeah. Who are those people? They're not Christians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're not Muslims. Mm -hmm. They're not Hamites. He is saying, oh, my people. What have I done unto thee, and wherein have I wearied thee? Testify against me, mm -hmm. for I bought thee up out of the, the land, land of, of Egypt. Egypt. The same people. Who did he bring up from the land of Egypt? The same there was no people. Hamite. Mm -hmm. There was no Christian. There was no Muslim. Mm -hmm. He didn't bring none of them up. He brought my fathers and my mothers out. Mm -hmm. For I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, and redeemed thee out of the house of servants, and I sent before thee Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. All Israelites. All Israelites. Mm -hmm. Not one Hamite here. Mm -hmm. Oh, my people, remember now what Bala, king of Moab, consulted, and what Balaam, the son of war, answered him from Chittim unto Gilgal, that you may know the righteousness of the Lord. Wherewith shall I come? before the Lord and bow that myself before the high God. Thank mm -hmm. goodness. Mm -hmm. I mean, why am I reading all these scriptures? Mm -hmm. Am I reminding you who you are? Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, 
before. Oh. Now there's many gods. And he says, if what you use, wherewith yeah. shall I come before the Lord yeah. and bow myself before the high the God? High God. Mm-hmm. Shall I come before him with burnt offering and calves of a year old? Mm-hmm. Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body from the sin of it? He had chewed thee, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of thee but to do justly, justly oh, and, and to, to love, love mercy, mercy and to, to walk, walk humbly with thy God. God. The Lord's voice cried unto the sea. city, and the man of wisdom shall see thy name, bear ye the rod, and who had appointed, appointed it. it, the dead. Mm. Those two scriptures has to do with the warning mm. of where we are, yeah. who we are. It's mm. telling us to come back, to really look mm-hmm. at life seriously, yeah. seriously. Mm-hmm. I can give you the life of Jesus before we go into the dead. And mm-hmm. I'm going to ask you mm-hmm. uh, to try to understand mm-hmm. what it is about Matthew 21. We, we get a little bit of the question 22 mm-hmm. and maybe 23, but Matthew 21, mm-hmm. it's, we ten, then we're going to go why the dead is so Im, unimportant. Mm. Mm. Okay. I hope you will have time. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so are we going to Matthew 21? Oh, yes. Okay. We're going to examine it. Mm-hmm. All right. Here we go. Matthew 21. And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem and were come to Bethpage unto the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus two disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway ye shall find an ass tied and a colt with her. Loose them and bring them unto me. You said you want to read. Yeah. We're gonna, I'm going to get there. Like, yeah, okay, I'm, okay. I'm going to have to prepare <laughs> yep. to get there because I'm going to, before I do that, let me just, oh, I have it ready here. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have it. Yes. And if any man say aught unto you, you shall say, the Lord has need of them, and straightway he will send them. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, <clears throat> which was spoken by the prophet. And I'm going to go there now. This was fulfilled by the prophet, even by the prophet, even Zechariah, when he spoke about the coming of the Christ. Yes. And the way he would even be coming into the town. And I'll read it, verse, verse 9. No, you got to call mm-hmm. it chapter. What chapter? Oh, chap- okay, Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9. Mm-hmm. And it says, yep. okay. Actually, I'll start at verse 8. And mm-hmm. I will encamp about mine house because of the army, because of him that passeth by. And because of him that returneth, and no oppressor shall pass through them any more. For now have I seen with mine eyes. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass and upon a colt, the fall of an ass. Oh, yep. you yep. goosebump <laughs> moments, guys. These are hundreds and thousands of years, this prophecy. So that, oh. uh, Jesus says, you're going to see a man and you're going to tell. No, you can't use the word ass mm. today because mm. it, it, it sounds very perverted. And so I told everyone that you can't use that. You mm. can't even use a donkey. Mm-mm. I don't know if you because... In the good old days, they used to call the donkey or an ass a jackass. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. it it used to be you can't you can't say jackass because it's a curse word. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's so things many things change. that have gone wrong. Things get corrupt. God's yeah. rainbow was so beautiful, mm-hmm. it turned into something else. Mm-hmm. You no, know, when you were gay, it means that you were happy. happy yep. uh, now now it's something, something else. else. Mm-hmm. Now you can't say jackass because. Mm-hmm. So what the hell is going on in this world? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Things are upside oh. down. Things are topsy-turvy. 
Oh my no, no, goodness. No. Things are toxicated. That's what it yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. I'll continue. Go ahead. Verse four and five. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter of Sion, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, meek and sitting upon an ass and a cult, the fall of an ass. Oh, this was already prophesied by Zechariah. So, and the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them, and brought the ass and the cult, and put on them their clothes, and they set no, the, him the thereon. The foal is a young donkey. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That a, means it, it, it's a pregnant donkey. It, it's, a, it's a female donkey, rather, uh, with a young one. Mm -hmm. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Mm -hmm. Others cut down branches from the trees and strawed them in the way. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. So he's a prophet now. Yeah. He's not God anymore? Now he's not God. <laughs> he's a prophet. He's a prophet. <laughs> he's here. He's a prophet. Okay. Okay. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple I just told you overthrew that. the tables of the money chain changers and the seats of them that sold doves. And he said unto them, it is written. He's, he's not so nice anymore. He's not so nice. That is that behavior again we talked about. Oh, yeah. You know, the same, and it's no different. This is the character that we possess. This is the behavior <laughs> that we have as Israelites. We were made in our father's image and likeness. That's right. You know, and that's the, right. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob said to Moses, Move, let me just consume them in a fire. Yeah. You know, the anger and the passion in that, right? Here yeah. is Jesus the Christ now overthrowing the tables and saying all these things and carrying on. And he says, uh, said unto them, it is written by my, written, my house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. <laughs> you know, I was waiting for that video clip. I was just hoping that I could have seen in that video clip the, the healing. Like, where were the miracles? If this man was called Jesus there in Africa, where were the miracles? I was America, just waiting exactly. he for was, one. He was making children. <laughs> like any other person. <laughs> like anybody else. Like any other man. <laughs> oh, boy. And when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying in the temple and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were sore displeased. <laughs> Gosh. And he said unto him, Hearest thou what these say? And Jesus saith unto them, Yea, have ye never read out of the mouth of babes and sucklings? Thou hast perfected praise. And he left them and went out of the city into Bethany, and he lodged there. Now in the morning as he returned into the city, he hungered. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing thereon, but leaves only. And he said unto it, Let no fruit grow on thee henceforth forever. Okay. Let, let's just stay up for a while about that fig away. tree. Mm -hmm. The fig tree is not producing. So why are they wasting all the land and all of that? Mm -hmm. So if you're not producing, you might as well not be here. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying to say about Jacobites. Mm -hmm. They are there. The God of Israel has given them so much. <laughs> My goodness, God's as I God. said the last time we were here, mm -hmm. they don't have factories that employ people. They put their money into other people's business, into this, or it's in a bank. It's a, they don't do like other people open a big store. They don't mm -hmm. even have, oh, the, only in Harlem I saw one black woman with a hair shop. Mm. All, all the hair shop is owned by Koreans and Jinjuns yeah. and everything. Oh, what is this? The only thing they open is Jamaican restaurant. Mm -hmm. And they don't have no discipline, no nothing. Mm -hmm. It's crazy yeah. how they have all that money and they put it in all these other things, not a warehouse mm. where people can get money. Mm -hmm. 
can yeah. get a job and, and work and they can invest their money. It's always something else. You know what's I sad about so that? Is that um, when I do talk to people, Jacobites, black people, whatever, there's this awareness that black people can't work together. Like everyone has no, that awareness. Can't. Yeah, they can't. They can't. but most people, they will say that, oh, black people can't work together. Oh, see, they can't work together. No, they can't. Can. And that is so sad because it's on the lips of everyone, but no one, Jacobites, black people, they can't get together and fight that. You know, there's no way they can get together and fight that and say, we're going to overcome that oh, stereotype, no. I, overcome that stigma. My, my, you know? I have, uh, he's not a friend, but I listen to him mm -hmm. now and again. Mm -hmm. His name is Pele Lumumba mm -hmm. from Africa. And he says, the Israelites uh, are in Igbo land in Nigeria. Uh, but at one time, it was said that, oh, we got all the Israelites in Biafra. Mm -hmm. And now it, they have this whole thing now that... It's finished, it's mm -hmm. done with. So, were they there, are they there, or mm -hmm. whatever? No, you have to be shipped mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. You can't be there and then say you're an African and say you're mm -hmm. an Israelite. Mm -hmm. Because in that area, he still talk about how Christianity has damaged mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. He said that. Because mm -hmm. they give you a Bible and tell you close your eyes, yeah. And you yeah. close your eyes, they got the land, and you got the Bible. Mm -hmm. And we were there, like you said, we were there. So remnants of our culture yes, would be there. There, it's there, you know. But like you said, the Israelites were shipped to Egypt. But oh, because yeah. we were because there, we remnants to. of our culture will be there. Yep, because we know? never listen. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We never listen, and it's a mm -hmm. poor situation mm -hmm. that we find ourselves in. That's mm -hmm. why those videos that are be coming out now, it's mm -hmm. so, so disgraceful. Yeah. So, uh, it, it, again, I say, it's not the Hard videos. Watch. Yeah. It's the people who does not laugh at it. Mm -hmm. The people who are following it. Million the people who are believing in it. And not only the people who believe in it, but the people like me and mm -hmm. you that are believing in it. Mm -hmm. Let the other people believe in it. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. why Jacobites got to mm -hmm. believe in it? Mm -hmm. And there's so many of them. Mm -hmm. And all they would say they got a new covenant. Yeah. Or they know the Bible, they're going to do this. You can't know the Bible and do it. The Bible is not a Christian book. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they fail to realize that Jesus never heard of Christianity. Mm -hmm. He never heard of Christianity. Mm -hmm. And they said Christianity came out from Christ. How? <laughs> he had nothing to do with it. Right, yeah, yeah. It's the smartness of a man that said, Christians was like calling you a nigger. Mm -hmm. When you look at it carefully and you put the word Christian, read the context and see what it says. Yeah. It's like calling you a nigger. You replace Christian with nigger and you would see exactly what it is. They were first called niggers in there. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's what Christians were called. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got to understand Now almost persuades me to be a nigger. Yes. <laughs> it, 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 it is so ridiculous. And they say that Christianity has to do with Christ. Mm -hmm. And Jesus never heard of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. In all of his mm -hmm. life, he's never heard mm -hmm. of anything called Christianity. Christianity. Oh, jeez. I would like to deal with the dead. Yeah, let's do it. And because there's the not dead much, Now is there's so, not much time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The dead, because it's the warning and the dead... Oh, I think I'm going to go mm -hmm. uh, how unimportant is the dead, even though it's important to some of us. Because when your loved one dies, mm -hmm. uh, it's very painful. Mm -hmm. But in a religious context, it's totally different. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read a, a few things. As I said, we don't give lessons here when we come up here. We give revelations. Mm. Okay. Bars. Mm -hmm. It says in Leviticus 19, starting in the 22nd verse, it said, you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. Oh, that's all over yeah. the place now. 28 verse, uh, yeah. Everywhere, everyone is. I hear somebody in Georgia call this nation a cult because they have no idea, mm -hmm. nothing at all to understand what a cult. All cults are Christians. Mm -hmm. They kill each other, they do all sorts. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jim Jones was a cult, mm -hmm. and he's a Christian, he's not here. Mm -hmm. They got so many of these. Mm -hmm. 
people that do all these things in Texas and all of that. They're yeah, they don't crazy. talk about that. Jim no, Jones don't. is a cult and he is or was a Christian. Oh, yes. They don't bring yeah. that part up. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Because goodness. you're small in number, we only have about a thousand mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. We got it? So mm -hmm. we are a cult. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and what I'm saying, there no one else is saying. So mm -hmm. we are a cult. Mm -hmm. And numbers nine. And there were certain, oh, on the, the sixth verse. And there were certain men who were defiled by the dead body of a man that they could not keep the Passover. Yeah, that's, that's right. On that day, and mm -hmm. they came before Moses and before Aaron on the day, and those men said unto him, We are defiled by the dead body of a man, mm -hmm. wherefore uh, we kept back that we may not offer an offering of of the Lord in his appointed season mm -hmm. among the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. You could read Numbers 19 from the 11th verse mm -hmm. because these are the things, oh Lord, we just need to understand about the dead body. Mm -hmm. And Number when eight. you take the dead body and you call your church, the building, a holy place, <laughs> and you take we, we're going to stop when we read Numbers 19. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. He that touches the dead body of any man shall be unclean seven, seven days. days. When you touch the body of a dead man, you're unclean for seven days. Mm. He shall purify himself with it on the third day. Yep. And on the seventh day, he shall be clean. But, but if he purify not, not himself, himself the third day, then, then the seven day, seventh shall, day, he shall not be clean. Clean. You're bringing the dead to the church. Oh, sorry, did I say church? Shrine. To the shrine. Yeah. You both smoke, you do all these things, you mm -hmm. probate, you go to thing. You follow him right to the cemetery, yet next Sunday you're keeping, what yeah, is you that? Yeah, you go right back to that dead shrine. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Whosoever touches the dead body of any man that is dead and purifieth not himself, defileth the tabernacle of mm -hmm. the Lord. And that soul shall be cut off from Israel. That's right. So, but because they know Israel, they don't mm -hmm. have to be cut off. Because the water of separation was not sprinkled upon him. He shall be unclean. His uncleanliness is yet upon him. This is the law. This is the law. When a man dieth in a tent, that all that come into the tent and all that is in the tent shall be unclean seven days. And every open vessel which has no covering bound upon it is you know unclean. That when I was a boy, they used to do this. They used to cover everything, all the pictures on the wall. Yes. And cover it. Yes, they turn it around that. and they switch switch up the furniture they don't do and all that of that. Anymore. No, they, they don't. They don't do that anymore. Yeah, again, a different level we of get, understanding. We get, we get to a point where mm -hmm. we, we might have to stop, but we could. Mm -hmm. oh, I just, just hope that today. Uh, <laughs> oh. I, I am just tired of all this craziness that is going on outside of this building. And I thank the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Amen. For the spirit of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Amen. That has been bestowed so that I can teach this nation and to teach the world what the truth really looks like. Amen. So, we're in a situation now, and this Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be celebrating a virgin feast uh, for a, this beautiful young lady today. <laughs> yeah. And I hope everyone enjoy themselves. Amen. Uh, I want to thank. After we finish here. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you all for tuning in on another Saturday afternoon to AIJ TV. I want to thank even our elder Shadrock for always teaching and revealing this truth even unto us and now the world. So those of you that are out there, please share, like, comment, donate, and let's spread this truth from corner to corner of this earth. With that, I say peace. peace.